Are you in your 30s, 40s or 50s or even above and you just recently realized that you are not exactly where you want to be with your life and you actually want to become an artist? So many negative thoughts and fears can come up when you realize this only later in life. Maybe you already have a full-time job in a completely different field, you have family, kids and so many responsibilities that you may think that this is already too late for you and you wish that you have realized your passion for art a bit earlier in life. Believe me, many times I feel like this and I wanted to make this video as a reminder for myself and other people in the same situation that actually there are some positive aspects as well of starting art later in life. Hi, my name is Adrian, and for this video, just let's forget about the negative thoughts and let's just focus on the perks of becoming an artist after your 30s. Before we start with the first point, I just want to know that this video was highly inspired by my personal experiences, but I am pretty sure that you will find uh, several points that can sound familiar for you as well. Another thing that I wanted to clarify in the very beginning that if you are a young person watching this video in your 20s or in, in your teens, it doesn't mean that this video is not useful for you or these points are not valid in your case. Another important thing before before we start is that I am not at all talking about your art skills and how good are you in art. Basically these are certain personality traits that could be enhanced with age and it can help you become a better artist or it can enhance your journey towards your art career. So the first point is that you already have some experience. I believe that art is inspired by experience. You want to tell a story, you want to pour a feeling or a mixture of feelings in your art. It doesn't matter if you want to share a single moment of your life. For example, you want to paint how beautiful the sun is shining on the house or if you want to share your deepest feelings and deepest ideas and thoughts in the end you translate some experience from within to the external world I can only speak for myself but for me every experience I have in my life contribute to my art whether it's good or bad so having more experience can certainly enhance your vision as an artist the second point is that you know yourself better when I was younger I I was just figuring out who I was. With a little bit of exaggerations, my teens and twenties spent in confusion and searching who I was, understanding myself better and this whole world around me. But yeah, I had to put myself through many different situations, make good and bad decisions so that I build and develop and understand my own character, how I behave in different situations and how my decisions are made. Don't get me wrong, I am not saying that now I understand everything, I understand myself, the world, not at all. What I am saying is that I feel a difference between those years and what I am right now. And I'm pretty sure that if I look back to myself 10 or 20 years from now, I will feel the same way. But yeah, this is a constant development. I know that I'm still searching for myself. I mean, the fact that I just realized a passion for art recently, that speaks for itself. But one thing is for sure, knowing yourself better, knowing what are your strong or weak points both in your personal life and in your work life is very important when you want to start a new career as an artist. So just think about it. Maybe along the way you will need to take serious decisions. You will need to make sacrifices. Different varieties of emotions can appear inside you. Maybe your personal relationships will be put under pressure or stress. Plus many art requires a ton of time spent alone. So maybe you will also start to spend more and more time by yourself. So knowing yourself better can only help you to keep on trying and handle all these things better. Which brings us to the third point. If you know better who you are, then you know what you want. And what you want is to become an artist. So what do you need for that? You need consistency. You need to put in the effort maybe for years without getting anything other out from art than the pleasure of creating and of course the frustration of creating many times. So you need to be patient and you need to be disciplined. But can you targetedly use your strengths in your favor? 
to overcome or even control your weaknesses in order to achieve that goal. For example, if you know that for sure you are distracted by other people around you, by your phone or the thought of unfinished to-do list, but you know that you are very good in planning, then can you do that? That you plan a schedule for yourself. So by the time you sit down for your art, everything important is already done. You don't have to think about what to do. Maybe you can schedule some time alone and maybe you can actually program your phone to be switched up for those times so no one will disturb you or you will not get disturbed by your phone. Knowing yourself better, knowing what you want and playing around with your personal traits can really pay off when you decide that you take art seriously. Our next point is you know what is at stake. In one word, it's the rest of your life. I don't want to sound so serious and make you feel anxious. It's not at all my aim. I hope to achieve the opposite, actually. But if you are watching this video, the chances are that you are not entirely satisfied with your life as it is right now, and you are facing the very burning question whether you should start a career in art. From the discussion with my friends and family members and also reading a lot about this on the internet, I realized that many people, well, actually most of the people, don't like what they are doing for a living. I mean, this is something that we do on a daily basis. We spend most of our lives on it. And if you are in your 30s or 40s or above and you don't like your day job, you can't wait every day to go home and do your art in the evening, then it's natural that the question comes to you, should you switch career? And well, there are two answers to this question and one of them you know how it feels. If you are in your 30s or 40s and you imagine doing the same thing for another 25-35 years and you don't feel good about this, this can be quite painful but it can also give you such motivation and so high dedication that maybe you would never had if you would have realized that you want to be an artist when you were younger. So maybe realizing right now, it's not actually a bad thing. As you realize that you have less and less time left, you start to think that you should actually spend your time on things that you enjoy, you don't have time to waste and you have to work hard for those things. Which brings us to our fifth point, which is you may spend your time only on things that matter to you. As you get older, you reconsider a little bit what is important in life and maybe you already have a whole picture about what is worth spending time on. Not only the desire of going out to party every weekend goes down for most of the people at this age, but we have so many responsibilities that at some point you have to draw a line and set your priorities. So if you are interested in an art career and you set your time aside for that, the rest of the time, I'm pretty sure you want to focus on things that you like and spend it with people you actually like to hang out with. Actually, I have a video on time management, balancing full-time job and art, which I will put in the description below. Also, the probability is pretty high that by this age you already settled down, you have a partner or you have decided that you just want to live alone by yourself. Although having a family, having a husband or wife can actually take a lot of energy and time. But I personally believe that if you found a good partner, the environment and the atmosphere can be actually very peaceful and the mindset is completely different compared to the mindset when you are young and all the time looking for something new or someone new. Point six on the list, you may have savings or financial stability. The good thing about being a bit older is that you have worked already for some time. And it could be that you already have some savings. Well, I checked online and the rule of thumb was that it's recommended to have at least a year of salary saved by the age you are 35. But once I looked at the statistics, it turns out that most of the people in Europe and the US don't have that much money by the time they are 35. So I don't think that this rule of thumb can be generalized, but if you have savings, good. But even if you don't have savings, but you have a steady income, a monthly income, in most of the countries, this can already be enough to have the peace of mind so that you can, in the meantime, develop your skills as an artist and you can launch your art career slowly but steadily while working 
working in your full-time job. It is very difficult, but many artists went through this. If you need motivation, then there are hundreds of examples in front of you. Seventh point on the list is that you dare not to know something and to be imperfect. When I was studying physics in university or when I was doing my PhD in material science, somehow I always felt guilty or stupid if I did not know something or did not understand something immediately, even when I was just getting familiar with the subject. And it was entirely and totally okay not to know these things. But for some reason, I felt stupid. The worst part is that this fear actually held me back from asking questions many times from experts who knew everything about the field and I could have just asked anything. They would have been happy to help me. It took me a relatively long time to realize this, how contraproductive this was, and even more time to dare to act as a beginner, to admit that I don't know something and dare to ask or even fail. Actually, this could be just me. I don't know if other people also went through similar things. But actually, this is one thing I'm really happy about that I started art a bit later because now I truly don't mind to fail or not knowing something. I ask questions and it doesn't even occur to me that a question could be stupid. I am happy to discover something new and I allow myself to be bad at it and I give myself some space and time to improve in this. If you understand that there is space to improve, that you can always improve and art is mostly like this, that it's a never-ending improvement. Actually, this is one thing I love in art that I don't think I will ever reach that level when I say I am satisfied. I always want to improve more and more. So if you understand that there is space for improvement and most probably by uh, your 30s or 40s you already have some idea about criticism, you already got some criticism during your current career, then you would ideally handle criticism a bit better. And if one thing will happen for you as an artist is criticism from other people. Point eight, you may already have some regrets in life. I would say that this one thing may be actually proportional with age, missed opportunities. Maybe you have already collected a couple of these or even more big regrets in life and hopefully you already have learned from them. And this could give a big kick in your ass to deal with your art career right now because deep down you know that it's not too late. But if you wait and wait for years, you will look back to this point and you will regret that you didn't start earlier. Number nine, you always have a plan B to fall back on. If you already have a professional career and you have years of experience, you can always keep this job until your art career becomes a reality. This also gives you the chance to work on whatever you want, whatever you like, and explore different areas in your art. Rather than taking commissions, if this is not what you want, of course, just for the sake of money. And if you decide at some point that you take the big leap and you leave your current job and career and try yourself as an artist, it is good to know that you already have a CV full of relevant things and you can turn back to your original profession if your art doesn't sell as good as you expected. And the last point is less influence and more support from your parents and family. Although my parents very rarely interfered with my decisions that I took during my teens or early 20s, but this incident stuck in my mind. When I was 18 years old and I decided to go to university to study physics, I actually wanted to take a break, a year off, and first just learn the math to become better in it. And meanwhile, of course, I wanted to just have a job and work for my own income. And yeah, my parents said no. And still until this point I feel that it would have been better for me if I would have pushed through my idea. But for some reason that time I didn't do it. The control from parents early in life, it's quite understandable. I mean they want their kids to succeed, to have their own life, to be independent. But well, once they see that this is the case, then the influence from family, from parents is much less. And if there is any, it is rather supportive in my experience. And if you have your own family and and you have someone who is dependent on you, then it's up to you and your situation to decide what are the consequences and risks that you are willing to take for a career switch. 
So these are the 10 points of advantages of starting an art career later in your 30s or above. I'm pretty sure that I missed many things. So if you have something to add on the list, then please do it in the comment section down below. Let's have a nice collection of supportive thoughts that we can scroll through when we need some motivation to remind ourselves that are certainly some good aspects of starting art career a bit later in life. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope coming back to you soon with another video about this painting. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.